Attention, duelists! My hair is showing you what previously happened on Yu-Gi-Oh! They took Joey's soul! The Orichalcos claims yet another victim. They can only imagine the trouble Kaiba must be having. Yes! Take them all down, my blue eyes! Oh man, first I get a free car, and now I can summon a real blue eyes to fight on my behalf even when I'm not playing a card game. The only way this day could get any better is if Joey Wheeler somehow lost his soul. Hey bro, there's still a few Orichalco soldiers left. Well, you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, then you're probably not set o fucking kite. Attention, duelists! My hair is inviting you to watch what happened this time on Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't believe we lost Joey, one of the finest men I've ever met. I shall never forget the time when he said, Yeah. Pharaoh, he said that like a million times. And that is why I won't forget it. We can't hang around. Darts' his henchmen could show up here any moment. I'm not leaving my best friend in some back alley. We're taking him with us. Tristan, how are we going to- We'll carry him, together. We'll prove that the bonds of friendship are strong enough to shoulder any burden, even literal ones. You guys pick him up. I'm gonna go stretch my legs real quick, then I'll help out. Okay, Taya, you grab that side okay, and I'll yeah, just I get this part just with- to... Did he just friggin' ditch us? Taya, the Pharaoh would never abandon us like that. Suckers, consider yourselves ditched. Like I'd ever be seen carrying another person. Not in a million years. Kawaii hat, sekevi hat, todoket, fly out high again. It's a good thing Darts' headquarters are just a short sprint away from wherever Joey was, and from the looks of things, someone is already on their way down to challenge me. But I'm ready, and nothing is going to stop me from getting to Darts. My, I saw what you did to Joey. It's time to wait, hold on. I'm very flattered, my, but I never make love before a card game, or after. The ideal time for lovemaking is during one. I wonder which floor I'm being taken to. Well, if every other anime in existence has taught me anything, most of the drama tends to happen on the roof. Nice of you to join me, Pharaoh. Raphael! I was half expecting to find darts waiting for me up here. Master darts would never stoop to such a level. Yeah, I guess it is asking a lot to have some sort of direct interaction with this season's antagonist before I duel him. You probably met your old friend Mai on the way up. Of course, you may have struggled to recognize her without her soul. You solo stole the soul of one of the sole remaining members of your whole soul-stealing society? Mai was weak. Without her soul, she serves our cause better than she ever did as a member of our ranks. Mai was one of the strongest duelists I've ever faced. Why, she even defeated Jean-Claude Magnum. And then nobody else ever after that. But she took out Jean-Claude Magnum, man! You claim to have a high opinion of your friend, and yet you couldn't even be bothered to carry her up here with you. What's wrong? Can't spare a shoulder to lean on? My shoulders offer two things only. Rolling them seductively at my opponent opponents to confuse them during card games, and glancing backwards over them at my friends in a dramatic fashion. Not for carrying people. I wouldn't be seen dead carrying anybody. Fitting, then. As once I'm done dueling you, you won't be seen doing it alive, either. Technically, I've not been alive for several thousand years. Duel! Uh, oh yes, duel. When we catch up to the Pharaoh, I'm gonna give him a piece of my ass! Don't you mean mine? I know what I said, Tristan! Seto, stop the car! It's Taya and Tristan! Fine. Mokuba, what are you guys doing here? Just my luck. Dorkfest continues. Actually, Dorkfest is in October. Oh no! Look! Darts has hilariously possessed an army of rats in an attempt to subdue us! Holy shit on a sh sandwich, except hold the sh Careful, you almost dropped Joey. We gotta get to safety. Also, don't tell anybody about how I just touched Joey, okay? This fire escape will be a good place to not talk about touching Joey. We have to find the Pharaoh before those rats do! Good idea, Taya! Look, can everyone just stop talking about how I touched Joey? Get over it already! It was one time! Let's see if you learned anything about respecting your monsters from our last duel, Pharaoh. Nobody respects their monsters more than I do, Raphael! So get Get ready because... Oh wait, hang on. Jack's Knight, 
What what are you even doing? You're clearly a whole inch out of formation. I thought we went over this in practice. By the gods, you make me sick with your constant failure to listen. You're worthless to me, Jack of Knights. So anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I sacrifice my shitty, stupid Jack's Knight to summon the fabulous Karibo Brothers. Behold, as they cavort about in their entertaining manner. How am I even watching? That's a good cavorting, Karibo Brothers. Now combine to form Karibabalon. Do the la 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 la. Okay, now I think I understand why you don't respect your cards. Most of them are f***ing ridiculous. Here we are at Darts' upscale San Francisco condo or whatever. Let's hope we're not too late to see Raphael inevitably activate the Seal of Oricalcos! Jeez, Taya, way to jinx it. Oh, I see. So when you use the Seal of Oricalcos, everything's hunky-dory. But when I do it, I'm just exposing my true nature as an inherently evil Egyptian pharaoh. Taking people's souls is one thing, but I draw the line at double standards. Unlike you, pharaoh, I don't intend intend to use the seal of Arakalkos to sacrifice my monsters. I intend to keep all of my monsters outside the graveyard for this entire duel. The GY. What? It's called the GY now. Why did they do that? It saves space for text on the cards. I didn't even know these things had text. Yes, soon they'll be abbreviating all the commonly used dueling terms. Imagine how ridiculous that would be. Now I S my KBs and send them to the GY in order to TS Curry Bandit to my side of the F. R -R 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 -R. And with that, I'm fairly certain that we've exhausted every variation on that joke. No matter what you do, Pharaoh, I won't let you destroy my guardian Iatos. Hell, you can't even destroy my front line to get to her. And if you can't take out my monsters, well... Your fate is all but sealed. Oh, I see what's going on. This whole duel is a metaphor for your inability to accept that your family is dead. What? Yeah, see, you refuse to let any of your monsters go to the GY because you believe preserving the memory of your family as you knew them in life will make you stronger. When in actual fact, you are denying yourself the chance to mourn and as a result, you've rooted yourself in the past, never allowing yourself to move on from that tragic day when you were forced to replace your dead family with trading cards. You have no idea what you're talking about, Pharaoh. No, I actually really do. Accepting the mortality of those around you is an important step to becoming a more complete person. Just ask Kaiba. Why, just last season, he literally murdered his own father in order to move on. It's true. I highly recommend it. A-plus experience. It even worked for Mokuba. I miss Noah. Mokuba, you and your imaginary friends. Look, you are reading way too much into this duel. These cards are not my family. In that case, you won't mind if I use my Dark Magician with my legendary dragon, Timaeus, in order to destroy Guardian Iatos. Mommy, no! I mean, Guardian Iatos, no. Raphael, if it helps, just think of this duel as an elaborate and extremely painful therapy session. No charge. You want pain, Pharaoh? Well, here's a card that'll provide plenty. Say hello to my guardian dread scythe. By the knobbly knees of Ramses. What being of purest edge is this? You're right to be afraid, Pharaoh. My dread scythe is going to carve your monsters and your soul into tiny pieces. No, it's got a scythe. The deadliest farming implement known to man. For every monster that's in my graveyard, dread uh, GY. For every monster that's in my graveyard, Dread Scythe gains attack power. So now, I'm going to sacrifice all my monsters in order to make Dread Scythe the most powerful monster on the field. Wait, hold on. This whole duel, you've been adamant that you'll protect all your monsters. But I get rid of one of them, and suddenly you do a 180 and decide to kill all of them yourself? Yeah. Plans change. Plans change? You spent all our previous duel telling me what an awful person I was because I was willing to sacrifice my monsters. How is this any different? Look, not everything is so black and white. I guess I didn't realize that Oricalcos was Latin for giant f 
fucking hypocrite. Yeah. Dread Scythe, destroy his dark magician girl. I activate magical pigeons. Ah, magical pigeons. No one's ever been able to activate him. I can't believe Yugi risked using magical pigeons. I mean, Exodia is one thing, but magical pigeons? Is he insane? Magical pigeons turns dark magician girl into a pigeon. And then next turn, she changes back. But for now, she's a magical pigeon. And now I activate Underworld Circle. Wait, what's going on here? Is this more of your nonsense, Raphael? Oh no, the Pharaoh and Raphael are stuck in there. I hope this duel wraps up soon. I gotta get to Dorkfest opening ceremonies. By the underratedness of DreamWorks' The Prince of Egypt. Where are we? We appear to be in some sort of graveyard. G.Y. Look, no matter how many times you correct me, I am not saying that. <laughs> I think I know where we are. This is a memory from my past. This is the first time I met darts. And now you listen directly to me, Baby Raphael. I am forming my very own old Cockamalo's army, made of bikers and wants. You don't use the wants wants. Got to really matter. And I see great potential in you. Potential for doing. Zug Zug? Oh right, this is before I relearned how to talk. But it seems that your thoughts still linger on your family. The only way to unlock your potential is to forget about them, man. Zug Zug? Oh yeah, well, if they really loved you, then they wouldn't be dead. You know what I mean? So time to let bygones be bygones. Agree to disagree. Hashtag self-care and join the family of the Orakakamalos. You see, Raphael? Darts preyed on you when you were young and vulnerable so that he could more easily brainwash you into doing his bidding. I don't know what you're talking about. Master Darts is a wise man who has treated me with nothing but respect. Now buy me, Raphael. Go dig a hole in the ground with your bare hands like the dog you are. Yeah, get in there, scoop it good. That's some kind of respect. Master Darts made me dig for hours, endlessly digging, until I finally unearthed my very own Aurichalcos-style dual disc. Ah, oh, we gonna have a hilarious relationship that we all, man. Wait, how long ago did all of this happen? I don't know, three or four years? But Kaiba didn't invent the dual disc as we know it until season two of this show. How is there just a bunch of random-ass dual discs buried in this random-ass graveyard? Random-ass G.Y. Don't you start. Look, guys, they're back! Yes, it appears we have returned from the backstory dimension or whatever that was. Just in time for me to activate Monster Reborn and bring back your guardian Iatos on my side of the field. Mommy, no! I thought I was your favorite! I mean, that sure is a trading card you summoned. I clearly have no personal attachment to it. I combine Joey's Hermos with my Queen's Knight to form Goddess Bow. This gives Iatos enough attack power to combat your Dread Scythe. And every time she attacks, you are forced to lose card after card in order to protect yourself. Say farewell to your guardian Iatos as she carries all of your internal pain into the heavens with her. This heavy-handed metaphor was brought to you by... Da, a subsidiary of Doi Incorporated. Uh, Raphael, now do you understand? Darts tricked you. He made you think you could heal your broken heart by killing every living thing on the planet. When it turns out the solution was not doing that thing. You're right, Pharaoh. And now all that remains is for me to activate Soul Charge to summon all my monsters back from the graveyard. The G.Y. Depleting me of all my remaining life points in the process. Raphael! No! What are you doing? I know. The seal of Arakalkos will take my soul. But... I'm ready now. No, not that. I'm upset because you didn't let me make the finishing move. That's total BS, man. And after I lost to you before and everything. Mom. I mean, Momster card. Okay, this is also total BS. When I came back from the dead, I didn't get a chorus of heavenly music and a light show. My monsters, they've all returned to me in my final moments. You know, I'm just glad that my family wasn't here to see me join a cult that tried to murder everybody. Raphael! We saw everything! Oh dear. But don't worry, we won't judge you. We'll leave that to God! Mother, father, I don't have the words to say how grateful I am. So instead, I'll just say, Zug Zug.
Raphael, what in Osiris's name gives here? Why aren't you screaming and convulsing in agony? My soul, I think I still have it. Maybe because Raphael was able to accept the flaws within himself, the Oricalcos spared him. Or maybe the real seal of Oricalcos was the friends we made along the way. God damn it! I knew that girl's friendship speeches were gonna kill me one day! This is why I hate coming to San Francisco! Mr. Kaiba, we're here to retrieve you! Look, it's one of my many omnipresent flying helicopters! Everybody get on board before we get totally smushed! Roland, inform all the other passengers to stop talking about how I touched Joey! Where's Pharaoh? Better not tell anyone I did this for you, alright? Because if I hear even one word about you, I can see my pyramid from here! Why the Egyptian reference of some other Egyptian reference? Raphael, what are you doing? Take this. That'll take you to darts. Pharaoh, I'm sorry I misjudged you. But more than anything, I'm sorry for beating you in a children's card game. Well, you know, we really don't need to bring that up right now. I mean, I really owned you. It wasn't even close. Raphael, can we please move on from- Just a very one-sided duel, really. I probably could have won with one hand tied behind my- ah! Oh no. Raphael, come back. Pharaoh, we came back for you. Quick, jump on board. I'm just here for the food. Uh, uh. Raphael, I can't believe I lost my shoulder virginity to you. Look, guys, Darts' headquarters collapsed and there's something else on the inside. It looks like the evil building was hiding another, even more evil building inside itself. What a random and super unnecessary plot twist. Hey, look, something's moving down there. It's a good thing I'm so buff or that fall would have killed me.